Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's going to be another edition of Love and Hate. And if you aren't familiar with what this little series is that I do, I talk about two very similar products, um, definitely similar in what they are and as close to similarity in price or they're in the same category. Um, and one of these products that I've tried forever I love and one of them that I've tried I hate. I will not recommend, do not think it's worth the price, even if it's a low price or a high price. So today's edition of Love and Hate is going to be oil cleansers, like oil balmy cleansers, like what you use to take off your makeup at the end of the day. They're very popular in Asian skincare, specifically Korean. So I'm going to talk about two of these that I've used in the past and let you know which one I love and which one I hate. So if you're interested to know what's what, keep watching. I'm going to talk about the Bashia. It's a long, long name. I hate these long names. I can't just say it. The Bashia Charcoal Makeup Melter Cleansing Oil Balm. Um, Bashia is a California brand that has like Japanese roots. Um, it takes a lot of inspiration from Japanese skincare and Asian skincare. I don't know quite off the top of my head if the founders of it are Japanese or Asian or if they just kind of really were inspired by it. Um, I will, you know, if I find out more, I'll probably link it below in the description box. But I do like a lot of their products. So they have this oil cleanser that I tried. And then the other product that I'm going to talk about is the Cult Classic Vanilla Co. Clean It Serum. Now I'm going to show you both of these products because I've been use using both of these products. And when you see them, you will know which one I love and which one I hate. This is the Vanilla Co. Clean It Serum. And this is the Bashia um, Charcoal Makeup Melter Cleansing Oil Balm. Now, if you can't guess... I obviously love this one because I have a full size and I obviously hate this one because it is a sample size and I just am fighting to finish the jar. So let's find out why. Okay, so this is a newer jar. So I'm just going to kind of quickly show you the consistency of this product. Um, this is the vanilla coat. I don't have the little, um, like comes with a little spatula. I'm gonna use my pinky finger because I think this is the best to get it out. Um, my hands are clean, as you can see. It's kind of like a sherbet sorbet-esque type consistency. You put it on your skin and it just kind of quickly melts into this oil. And this will take off everything. Everything. The most stubborn of tough makeup, like waterproof makeup, the mascara that stays on your lashes for like a year. This will take off everything. It's very gentle and it really does a fantastic job of removing all of your makeup. It is, I love to use this at night, but I've been really enjoying the Clarins Alpine um, cleansing milk. So I'm probably going to continue to use that, but I absolutely love this in the morning. The reason why is because in the morning I wake up and I am a grease ball and I just want a gentle cleanser for my first cleanse in the morning to kind of just get off the grease, get off the grime, get off the dirt. Sounds excessive. So that way when I go in with my pore cleanser, my deep cleansing, it's not like cleaning over a layer of grease. I like just a little bit of a um, first cleanse of a oil cleanser in the morning. It really helps my skincare. So that's the consistency of this and let me show you the consistency of the Bashia. Okay so this is the Bashia. This is the, let me read it to you, Charcoal Makeup Melter Cleansing Oil Balm. Now this was obviously, this is a deluxe sample. I chose this as a reward from a purchase I made from Sephora from a variety of deluxe samples. I was excited to try this. So let me show you the consistency of it. This is what it looks like. And I'm gonna use the same pinky um, to show you how it comes out and the consistency on the back of my hand. And then I'll let you know my comments on that. So, doink to doink. Just taking a little bit, put it on the back of my hand. Let me close this. Okay. So, it's really sticky. It's kind of like Vaseline to me. and 
you really have to rub it into your skin for it to start to have any of the same or similar consistency as the Benilco Clean and Zero. So, um, why do I hate this? Because it's so tacky. If I put this on my skin at night to use at night to take off my makeup, I have to like tug at my skin to get this to move around because it is so tacky. It doesn't become like an oil. It stays as Vaseline. So I'm like, I don't want to tug at my face. That's not good for your skin. I already have issues with a few fine lines. Let's not make it worse. So I usually will put this in my hands and warm it up and then put it on my face and I still have to kind of tug. But at that point, like, there's not enough product, even if I use a lot of product, on my face to really remove the makeup. So this is a complete pass for nighttime. Absolutely not. In the morning, again, like I said, I'm a grease ball. <laughs> I want this to really help cleanse my face, get rid of the grease and oil, so that way when I go in with my cleanser, it doesn't clean the grease, it cleans in my pores. This leaves this tacky residue on the back of my hand like I don't know if you can hear it I know I'm going like this but like if I go like this you can't really hear it is so tacky and oily I ugh, I'm gonna wipe this off I just don't like it at all it leaves this film on my skin that's even more greasy and tacky than the original oil slick that's on my face in the morning so there's no point to use this in the morning because it does the opposite of what I want it to do in the morning, which is to really clean off the oil. And at night, it doesn't take off the makeup. And if it does, I have to tug on my face. So I'm not going to use it for that. So what I've been using this for is to take off a really stubborn liquid lipsticks just to use it like I'm gonna use through the product I don't hate it enough to throw it away I don't want to be that wasteful so I'm like okay I can still use this to remove my liquid lips but it doesn't even do that good of a job so I mean yeah can we talk about the smell for a minute like this to me smells like Vaseline that went bad like it's just mm -mm. There's nothing appealing about this at all. Now, this guy right here doesn't really have much of a fragrance, at least not one that I've noticed. But the littlest scent that it has is very fresh. So, I mean, this smells bad. Does this thing do anything? Is this, does this beat out this in any way? Yes, in one way, and that is price. For a three ounce, I believe a three ounce jar of this, it is about $32. Um, for a hundred uh, milliliter um, container of this, which I believe is just over three ounces, I could be wrong. It's depending on where you purchase this and depending on which one you get because this comes in other varieties. They all do the same thing, just some of them are a little bit better for your skin needs. Between 15 and 30 dollars so you're gonna this is more expensive and you get more product for this and I paid like 15 dollars for this so I mean it's like for this particular jar it's like less than half the price of this so this beats it out in price and less product so good for you good job for being not good I'm trying to give it a participation trophy. Overall, I love this. This is wonderful for the morning for me again. It really does a good job at prepping my face for my morning cleanse. I love using this in the morning. I love using this at night. It's really fantastic for taking off my makeup again. I really like the nighttime cleansing milk from Clarence I've been using. I've just really enjoyed it, which is why this has kind of just moved to a morning um cleanser for me for the first cleanse but this will probably if I ever get tired of the Clarins will probably go back to being my nighttime first cleanse as well this is just fantastic I can't recommend this enough this is a cult product for a reason it is so so good the same breath I don't want to say that this is absolutely horrible but it failed all of my needs across the board 
I'm glad I sampled this and didn't buy it because I would have been horrified if I had to use through a jar of it this size. Um, so I don't like this. I can't recommend this. I just can't considering this is half the price and I think this is so much better. But do keep in mind the Bashia brand is a really nice brand. I have other products from this line that I use in my daily skincare routine that I absolutely love. So I am not knocking this brand. This is a great brand. Definitely check it out. This particular product just completely missed the mark across the entire board. I hate it. I wouldn't buy it and I wouldn't recommend it. Well, I hope you enjoyed my love-hate video. Um, I wanted to bring you a, not Korean because this, this isn't Korean, but more Asian skincare brands that I've used. Some of you guys have asked for it, so I was really excited to bring this to you guys. If you like this video or and you like content like this, remember to give it a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this. Also, do not forget to subscribe. It is free, and I am free, and I put out new videos every Monday through Friday and sometimes on the weekends as well, so I'll always have something for you to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and have a great day, month, year, whatever, and I'll see you next time. Bye!